context is always important. Context is very important. It it's one thing to look at something isolated. When we talk about COVID, it's one thing to look at it isolated and look at it on its own. It's another thing to consider it and then compare and contrast it to something else. And then you start to see, well, a lot of this doesn't make any damn sense. The great article that was put out here that we'll read a little bit of before I give you my thoughts. And it, the, just the headline. More children have been shot in Chicago this year than the total number of those who have died from COVID-19 nationwide. More children have died from gunshot wounds than COVID-19 in the city of Chicago, according to a new report. A total of 214 uh, minors have died of COVID-19 in the country. 261 were shot in Chicago. The CDC and the National Center for Health Statistics. Coronavirus cases among uh, children have spiked over the last two months, but death rates are obviously between 0 and 0.27. Only seven states in the entire 52 uh, report reported no deaths among children. Um, the CDC and American Academy of Pediatrics report um, in Chicago, more children have died being shot, uh, have been shot to death citywide than have died of the virus in the whole state of Illinois. So when we look at shot, obviously the headline, we're looking at shot, not necessarily dying. But if you compare it to children being shot this year and um, and dying, actually dying. More children have been shot and died of uh, like in Chicago than they have died of the virus in the whole entire fucking state of Illinois. The total of 214 children under the age of 17 have died from the virus while a total of 261 have been shot dead in the liberal city this year alone. And uh, obviously looking at those numbers in detail, dying of the virus, dying with it, two different things, all of that, blah, blah, blah. What this basically is doing is just showing that according to the Illinois Department of Public Health, 25 people under the age of 18 have died of the coronavirus since the onset of the pandemic March uh, of last year. That equals to six minor deaths out of uh, in every 100,000 people under 18. But if you look at that in context and comparison, well, it's simply not that high. So there's more people being shot, more kids being shot, which of course should be alarming. That's a cultural problem. That has nothing to do with guns. It's a more of a cultural problem. Uh, we know Chicago going Chicago. But more so what I wanted to focus on in that and looking at this report is that, well, look at what they're doing to your children and look at what they're claiming to do to your children for your children, right? It's about their safety. Well, they for, uh, you know, like last school season, a school year, they got y'all, your kids masked up, plexiglass and shit, separating them between other children, markings on the floor like they in prison. Okay? And they did all this for a virus that, and I think that's what we're talking about with the context, not that children dying isn't tragic. No, of course. It sucks. But it's more so, it, when you look at it and you remove it, like you look at it, they just look at the static number, right? 300, 200, 300 people died, t kids died with the virus. This is what they'll say. So that's a, that's a, that's traumatic, right? That's, that's 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 traumatizing for those people that are maybe their parents. But then you look at it like, well, look at that even compared to like RSV or like uh, the flu. You'd be surprised. In fact, it seems like for flu, they're more likely to die from that than they are from COVID. They're virtually unimpacted. They won't be hospitalized for the most part. You're talking about in the point O's. In terms of death rate, yet we're doing all of this. It's almost like they're trying to beat your kids into uh, like compliance because it doesn't make sense. They don't do it for anything else. It doesn't make any sense. Yet 
Yes, I got to use this as an opportunity to rag on y'all still dropping y'all kids off, knowing damn well that they're indoctrinating them, knowing damn well that they got them doing something that don't make any goddamn sense. And y'all still dropping y'all's not head ass kids. Like I said, a lot of y'all have shown me that you really don't like your children. Oh, well, I got a job. I can't do this. I got all this. this I have to do it. Do you? I mean, I know you're saying that, but do you? There are alternatives. They might be un- inconvenient, but there are alternatives. A lot of y'all don't like y'all damn children. But on a serious note, when people, like we talked about Trudeau before, and him talking about you might get my kids sick, those people that are saying that don't even give a damn about data. They don't care about comparing it and contrasting the other illnesses, other things that are happening to children, because in its context, it doesn't even make sense. This the reaction. The application of these laws or mandates does not equal what's actually happening. It's not. A, it's like they're acting as if you think these children are just subject to die. Like. Oh, like you're talking 20, 20, 30, 40, 50 percent. But that's not what we're dealing with. They're almost unimpacted. You get pockets, like you said, you got certain states. They ain't got no deaths from children uh, under the 18 of dying from COVID. You know. So still. On a serious note. Look at it in context and then act accordingly. But just taking their word because they throw out 300 kids have died or something from that and you don't even consider that and other possibilities like what could the, what could that have been le- leading to or what, what could that be attributed to? Does our reaction maybe match what this disease is doing? Like those are all things we have to talk about. But you refused. You just watched a clip from my podcast for Cannon's sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at YouTube.com slash Young 59 and follow us over at Odyssey.com slash at Young 59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit ForCanonSake.com.